All right, I'd like to welcome everyone to this city council work session with Boardman Parks and Rec District Board on uh, September 17th, 2024, and it is 6 p.m. Uh, I hereby call this meeting to order and we'll do a flag salute, Pledge of Allegiance. Ready to begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. So, Mr. Hammond. Okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> first of all, uh, thanks everybody for coming. I know this is crazy busy, so adjusting your schedules. Um, thanks, Christina, for coming. Appreciate that. Um, and Richard, but Christina, she doesn't feel well. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, she so, looks like she feels really well. <laughs> Um, and again, the, the parks, uh, park and rec board for coming with Jordan. So just to give a, a quick background of, of how this all started is there was, um, there has been discussion of housing shortage. We've talked about that. It's been for years and years going on in Boardman. And then there was a discussion about specific workforce housing. And George and I were having a conversation. We we talked about the of this RV park and we the Tower Road. So it all kind of started there, and we've had back and forth. And it came to the point that if we really were going to move forward, that like this had to be agreed upon. Okay, this is something we want to look into, um, and that's why we brought you guys here today. So just for some informational, with when we have gathered in this housing, we've met with several businesses. Um, we had a local the solar project, the Sunstone Solar Project. They uh, approached me, I don't know how many months ago, um, and were very interested in trying to find workforce housing for their project in order for them to move forward with federal funding and whatnot they have to be able to display that we have a place for workers to go. Um, I've had several conversations with him, the individual uh, connected to Sunstone. They talk about a peak employment of four to 500 workers that they would need to house. Um, so again, they're very motivated to find something to accommodate their workers and they are willing, I just talked to them today, to financially support an RV project. So that is out in the open. There's also been discussion with um, other entities. There was the uh, the FCS group. Um, they were in a meeting talking about how they had how many men there? Like, like hundreds, hundreds of jobs, possibly up to a thousand. Yeah, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. So again, a large amount trying to find something in their their own company is you know trying to look for housing. So you had all these uh, entities align, and then this possibility of maybe being able to, in my mind, support <coughs> the rec district moving forward. Well. So you have um, very limited income coming in for the rec district. You have a huge bill with the rec center. And I was thought was, how do we mitigate that? How can we offset that cost? And an RV park would be a tremendous uh, income booster that would support the rec district. Again, this would not Initially, it was not to be like ran by the city. It was that was not the thought, but it was trying to find a way to support the rec district. Um, the benefit again would come into the city because of the rec center that they'd be able to handle on their own. Uh, the workers that would out that come out in that area over on Tower Road, which then would have a, a need for places to shop and and that would support local businesses here. So the benefit to the city was just that roundabout way. So that brings us to here. Um, again, the, the concept is not to get into the weeds. We're going to solve everything. Uh, we have a meeting with DEQ to even see if it's feasible. Um, 
to have a septic system there. So we'll um, meet with them, but before we even get to plans and, and architectural designs, the concept was to get your guys' input. Like, is this something you're even interested in? Is this something the city wants to do? Is this something that uh, Park and Rec wants to do? So. Who's followed it in? Your guy. I mean, yeah, just the they be able to you share maybe, your thoughts and you want me to have a little spill? Oh, maybe. sure. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Maybe okay. it's your turn. All right. So when Brad and I were talking and, and he comes up with this idea, but I like the idea of supporting the district. Um anything we can do to stay afloat and stay in the positive, um, because everyone should know that fools do not bring good revenue. <laughs> Um, but we're willing to put out effort to make things happen. The the pool, um, the rec center in general is one of the best amenities we have in town. And I don't we never want to see it go away. Um, I'm not saying that this project, which would be the reason it would go away of any sort, but financially this just would support that thing because we know right now the RV park that we run right now is like it's the money maker to, that does help with that. So we know that financially, um, RV have, having an additional RV park would definitely help with that. So, um, so there's there's that reason to when he he talked to me about it, I said, well, we know how to run an RV park, and so. Adding on uh, another RV park would just, you know, it's more jobs to, you know, we've got to get more people to be able to work out there, just like we have people working down here. Um, I, I don't know yet how we would, if we would manage just having one crew and we just work going to, or we'd have a separate crew out there. And I don't know how that, I've got to that part yet or anything like that. But, um, Talking to my board, you know, there's questions and stuff they have and how things we run. So that's where I'm at on this. Yeah, is there any questions like clarity just for background that you want to know about? I had a I had a question um for um maybe Mr. Scheimer. Um do you anticipate that you would need additional staff? Like, would this essentially bring um, additional jobs for boardmen? Oh, definitely. We, I mean, even if we just kept it one crew and the crews are are working at both sites, it's still going to take more manpower. Manpower, yes. I don't know how to look up there, but it's over here. Uh, yeah, it's going to take more manpower to make that happen. I mean, and the thought right now is to go at an RV spot that would be uh, roughly under 200 spots. Um, it's it's not necessarily the RV spots, but it is the amount of Huge. yeah water that is demanded. Like 200 spots, rough, roughly estimates to 20,000 gallons of yeah, right. That that you know, when we were talking with some people, that that's what they said was. If we went over 200 sites, then we're going beyond the capacity of the area for it. So we know that's going to that would be the limit. Yeah, and the have. regulations are are different. At yeah, that. after yeah. 200 yeah. sites, it gets to, it gets into the different rooms. Definitely. So now that you're thinking about this, do you have a do you have a 10 year plan like what you're going to do when there's nobody out there? Well, I think. My my first part, I I I thought like long term of that. I thought more of phasing it in. I don't I don't I don't see we could get like all 199 sites boom like that. It's going to have to be phased in over time and for the that long term. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's going to be that problem. I mean, if you look at the capacity of what we've done, what's happened here with the park, the campground with the district, 
over your time of being on the board. It's it's maintained. Isn't it six? <coughs> we got sixty three spots down here. Yeah. Okay. So you're almost perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. You know, and the difference is this is made for long term stay. Right. Okay. There, there's, and that is the difference with our long term at the RV park is only from October first to March first or February twenty ninth. And so at that point, and and then I, there's some years where we're packed all the way full, and it, it really depends on the workforce on that. Um, last year we're probably more closer to fifty percent full because when the jobs were starting was more were in and people did not want to be in our campground and then have to move. So we faced that this last year. Um, but overall, uh, I just don't see that's going to be the problem for so, campground. So are you, ex is the proposal for the city to donate the ground? You know, this meeting to me seems I guess nearly useless if we don't have any plans and we're not thinking about anything. That I'll answer that. Go ahead, Jeremy. Keep going. Well, so if we're gonna, if the if the city's donating the ground, would we deed it over to the park? What's the city's responsibility financially? As my thought is, it's not given. I don't. I don't anticipate this being given. Um, the I don't believe. I don't believe that. I'm in favor of it. I don't think it should be given at this time. What I'm thinking is this is do we, is this we want to talk about is this something we want to pursue? That's where I see this at, because we're at the beginning stages of what we would like to do. Uh, we have this property, and we have this issue of as of uh, what Mr. Uh, Scheimer had shared and we have workforce housing as we were sharing with Mr. Hammond and we have a potential to be able to have something that happens here. Do we want to go into talking to see if we can make this a reality? That's what I see the purpose of this meeting Yes, As of right now, that property is not being used for anything as far as I'm aware of. And so if we have an opportunity to be able to create this, I, I really believe that if you do any type of RVing, you have a very difficult time of finding a place to camp. And that could be a potential opportunity for boardmen to be able to get maybe a different type of clientele that comes through. You know, hey, I'm passing through. I want to, oh, I'm ready to stop here. I don't have an appointment or a reservation at the marina. I don't even know where the marina is, but I see this place right here. Maybe that, I, I think it's a way to start talking about, it. obviously we're at the very beginning, and I think the city and the park need to realize, do we want to do this venture? And if we can't have a consensus on both sides, then it dies. And and, and you will get real quick into like, investing money in architectural designs and all that real quick so before we even do that it's like hey is the the board you know the rec even want to take this on i mean that's where it comes down to is because you're right there's a ton of details to do one of the major details will be solved on monday or soon after however long deq because deq could squash this in the back so that's why there's not a whole lot of details in this but it's got to start somewhere so and this is the time to share those concerns <laughs> Richard. Richard. Um, I, I just wanted to add a little bit to what you were saying, Paul, and even uh, Karen, when you talk about the longevity of this kind of project and what I see, at least from my business on a daily basis and the people I talk to, um, I see a lot of RV traffic come through here that isn't just workers, like it's a lot of travelers. Um, the other thing is, is I hear from a lot of people that are working here about how they can never find a place to stay in Boardman. And uh, like today, I had to talk to somebody that's going to be here for a couple of weeks and he had to stay in the Dallas because there, there was no spaces available, no hotels available. And so um, I think long-term 
you know, whatever the size of this is, it's going to benefit our community long term after all these workers are done. Just for what I see in a lot of these newer RV parks, there's like the one in Hermiston you're passing on Highland. It's full all the time and it has been for years. There's a lot of people that are living in their RVs and they're doing it full time now. A lot of people, retired people, but also young people that can't afford a house. So they buy a fifth wheel and they live in it. So, and I think that's where our society is kind of headed to. Well, and I know that the man that is doing all the security here has just been crazy looking for employees and places for them to live. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't doubt. I think then, then I guess when you get down to the planning stage, maybe would you think about doing some units for like an overnight stage or three nights, you know, and then some more like the permanent stage, mm -hmm. you know, because you're you're mixing the two in the conversation here. You've already started mixing the two, mm -hmm. and so you know, I mean, you could have them, you know, the overnighters, just them easy in, easy out. That whole thing. that's what makes it exciting to me is that it can be diverse. <laughs> it has the potential to be diverse, and and when we if it is something that this group wants to do, then during the planning stage, I mean, it's wide open on the direction that we wanted to do. And that's what it's, it's exciting for me is how diverse we could make it or how not diverse, how it could be more centralized. I mean, that's what the, it's just the opportunities are wide open as of right now. So, did any either one of us budget any kind of funds for this kind of project? Then, so is this, this was, like this a, was not? Is this a supplemental budget then, or does it, nobody have any money to even start paying for the architects? Again, there are like Sunstone very interested. Uh, party. I think you know we could reach out to the security, hey, are you interested in this? Again, I think there's industry partners that it would be like zero cost for us and you know, people that would do that, possibly. I, I know for sure Sunstone Stoller has said, yes, financially we will contribute. They've not said a figure or what that means, but they've already said, yes, we'll go out. What's the build out time for them? And well, and two, I would think that it, uh, what would they expect in return? You know what I'm saying? Oh, correct. I yep. think you yep. need, yep. so does yep. that make that you, okay, if I help you get this started and right. I guarantee 50 lots. Yeah. 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 I'm sure they'll want something like that, but we don't know. Yeah. Well, I can see, what, I think we should look into this. Oh, yeah. Because I guess I'm just going to be right up front. I would think if this happens, that probably the park district is going to need more and better staff than they have now. And because you, you're, you know how much work it takes to do 63 units. You can't find help to do those hardly. So adding 200 more onto your plate is a big deal. However, they have a board and a director that, get, that they get to make that decision. Right. Yeah. So uh, Brent, do you have anything you'd like to share? I just thought I'd just kind of go around um, I like you. I don't think we should just give away the land. I think we need to have um, it needs to be purchased. But and I'm not opposed to it. I do know that um, one of the big concerns that people have expressed in the past. I don't know the neighbors talked to me recently, but when you start building man camps. You start inviting man cat kind of difficulties. And 
We can look just down the road to Irrigan, to their trailer park that sits out in the middle of the desert, to the kind of difficulties you encounter when you have long-term residential man camps. So I just want to put in a plug that if we're going to build anywhere in our community area, 200 homes and potentially have by and large men working in them that we may encounter some difficulties associated with those kinds of camps. And this is in the county's jurisdiction. So sure. that's not our police department's problem. We're giving the county sheriff's department a problem. But they they come to town, it will become our problem too. Oh yes, but <clears throat> for sure. I don't I guess I don't see it as a man camp. Yeah. I don't I don't envision it as a man camp. Richard. I, I just want to add, like Paul was already starting to say what I was going to say is, is I would not consider this a man camp. I know what a man camp is, and that's, in my opinion, I don't think that that is anything close to being called a man camp because most of these people that come here and work, they bring their spouses with them. They bring their children with them, especially when they're here long term. It isn't just men only. It, it's a good, it, it, it is a diverse. It isn't just a man camp. Mr. Moore. Well, my first concern is <clears throat> we build our community on all the man camp type workers, and then we're not going to provide a place for them to live. I, I, I don't know what the answer is. I do know that I feel fairly confident because for the park board, we're not in a financial position to make this huge investment. Uh, so we're just kind of exploring this to see what kind of money is out there to help build it. And if these companies will fork most of the money over, then that's a revenue stream. But if we have to pay a mortgage for 15 years, I, I don't know if the board will go for that. Um, but we do need, we have a housing problem here. And we dealt with, a, I don't want to call it high end, but the upper end housing. But we have no place for people that are making twenty dollars an hour, and there's a lot of those people that serve our community every day. And somehow we need to find a solution for that. And it may not be this, but I, I just think it's shameful that we have brought all these people in to make all this money for people, and then we don't give an opportunity to live in a decent house or a decent setting. Um, and the answer maybe is say from the again or you or final or whatever. Um I, I just I need to find a solution for housing for the lower end. What would be the your idea of a rent for money financial yeah. You know, you, you, even if we just did like what we do right now, uh our long term is six eighty a month. A month. So that's about half of whatever uh, whatever you can rent an apartment for in town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you. But we also yes. we need to add on another 110 because that's what we charge for that. So it's, it's 790. Is, so the 110 is for the utilities? Yeah. That's so you you oh, yeah. So yeah, but you own your own place, so I'm making a payment on an RV. Let's not get it wouldn't take me long to get to the 1200. Mm -hmm. If you had an RV payment, mm -hmm. yeah, because I'm thinking, oh, well, we won't even. We'll just so if you decide you can get it, then we'll get down to that. Then we'll get in the room. Yeah. So, Norma, I, I. Is there anything you'd like to share, Norma? Yes, sorry, I'm on the bus with some girls. Um, so for this work session, I was hoping to get um, clarification on possible uh, entities that would like to help with um, the purchase or the help of uh, just building this um i think it's a great idea but if it's not 
um, feasible for us uh, to be able to maintain it, um, then I, I don't I don't see this working. But if you have enough people coming in and uh, I know Brenda said that it's um, she doesn't want this going, just passing it on to the park. So, like I said, if we do have people that are willing to put the money in to help us build this, I think um, I think the board would agree that it's a good idea. Brenda, do you want to clarify? Norma, I didn't say that I don't think the park should do this. I, whatever they thought I said, I didn't say that. I said that I just wanted to word a caution about building up 200 units with primarily men workers and that that becomes like a man camp, if you will. Lots no, of, I think she's referring to the cost. Oh, well, no. Yeah, the cost. Oh. Yeah, the cost, just giving them the yeah. property. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're clear on that. Is it okay on both of you? Oh, yeah. An understanding. I understand better now. Thank okay. you. Might just be that instead of just one of them doing it, maybe it's a part of it. I mean, I, but there's so much unknown, it's hard to say yay or nay. And we didn't want our staff devoting a lot of time to planning until we at least met with you guys to see if we even wanted to pursue this. Mm -hmm. And we don't wait, we don't have to funds to waste planning something and we had other things we could be doing. I agree. But it would be nice if we decide to at least move forward to meet with these people and see are they they want to spend hundred thousand dollars or they want to spend millions. Because yeah. I, I think this project is going to be a 10 to 15 million dollar deal. Um it'd be my guess by the time you push the septic and water and all that stuff. Um well and I think I know she mentioned man camp, but which made me think about the fact that I think if you're going to have 100, 200 units out there, that you are going to have to have a recreation room and a decent shower room. I mean, this isn't like just going over and slapping in things. Right. So then you are getting towards the man camp thing. The only, you know, the only thing we wouldn't be having is maybe someplace when we had the man camp here that you, they cooked for them, you know, they, they served their meals. But yeah. I'm probably using man camp loosely too. Right. Right. I'm thinking you have 200 unattached people right. who are just visiting and that is a different mindset. And that was discussed. I mean, the property is 80 acres. I mean, it's a huge piece of property of what you can do, and whether that was a recreation, whether there was a basketball court or some kind of some kind of something out there. Sure. Yeah. And you would have rules and rules of well, that's the that's the thing is first of all, the entities here today decide is this something we want to investigate. The EQ has to to have their say. Correct. Then also the partners. Who want to invest in it have their say. And that would be probably before anything even starts. Hey, I, I got this amount of money and that's how much I'm willing to invest. Well, that's not enough. And maybe that's just a grandiose idea and moving on to our next project. <clears throat> or at what point would the conversation they need to have with the county, the county, it's out in the county, but would they have to? At some point, I wouldn't think that the county board. would probably <laughs> need to be well, in that conversation. Yeah, the conversation with the county is in the zoning. Yes. Yeah. So. so we have the zoning. So as long as the project meets it, their zoning requirements, just like the city, if nobody doesn't have to come and say, hey, I want to build something here as long as it's zoned. Correct. If it meets the zone, zone, I don't have to have a city permission. Stage industrial. It does not qualify. Mm -hmm. You'd have to resign it. So that's where they'd have their permission. No, I'm not gonna, that's not what we want there. And we're gonna deny or approve your request, just yeah. like the planning commission does and at city council. Yep. When did you say the DEQ you meet Monday? Monday. Monday. Okay. So that's um, right there. The 20th. So obviously we'd have to be with the county. 
if we wanted to go that far, if we decide to go farther. Yeah. Now, and then you'd have to spend money because now you have to have plans. And... Now, do we? Oh, sorry. Are they? Are you going to dig test holes? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You're digging test holes now. Oh, I'm on Monday with them. With D. So, correct. are you planning that if it's too rocky, well, you'll all stand there and know that, won't you? Correct. Okay. Yeah. They asked for like six test sites. Right. Right. So, are they coming out of Pendleton? Is that for the DEQ people? Do you think? Pendleton and the Dallas. One and one. Okay. And has the land been appraised yet, or is that something that the land was appraised when we did that a while ago? So it probably needs to be redone, do you think? No, no. Yes, I, was um, here. I just wanted to give one more thought. Um, and I don't know where my hand is to raise it, so I apologize. But um I um I, I hear some of the comments from some of the counselors as far as not wanting to give it away. And um, and I'm not sure why it has to be either give it away or sell it because we do have a precedent that was already set with like the hitting baseball shed thing, right? Where we, the city owns the land, but we essentially gave it over to be managed by somebody else. And so even if it wasn't long-term where we, wanted to continue to do that. Um, I'm not sure if we're thinking of all the options, right? Like, cause I, I just heard sell it, don't sell it. Like, I think that we need to look at all of those options um, because it could be feasible that we do sell it down the road, but you know, once things have been established and they're, they're making profit, um, I don't know that it needs to be done right away. So you're, you're talking more of the, your suggestion is the park would would manage it and the city owns it or lease it. Yeah, where you've done you've done some of those agreements before, and um, the other thing is with the parks. I do like that they already have the experience of running an RV park, where you do have a combination of long term. Um, you have the short term, and you have the policies that are in place. So. That was it. Those are just my thoughts. Any other discussion amongst uh, the group here? <clears throat> All right, Richard. Just, just one last thing. It sounds like we're kind of wrapping up here, but um, one last thing. I would still, whether it was meant to be said or not, um, I, I would use caution when telling people or, or trying to describe this to people if we're using the term man camp that is way different than a rv park and that happened once before in the past and people use that to try and squash other projects in the past because that's what they told everybody and so i i, I would just use caution when we describe this it needs to be described for what it is which is going to be an rv park it's not a man camp I agree with that. No, it's more like a grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. And I will add that there are a lot of kids that I pick up at the at the RV park already uh, for school. Just in case nobody knew that there there's kids that are living at the RV. Yeah, Dan, that's your question. Uh, on both places, you know, we got the R, but now I can't answer the <laughs> I will say this. I looked at um, different designs of camps, uh, RV campgrounds, um, and the newest one that I have found to be built is up in Washington. It's 160 seven sites, I think it is, and talking with them, it is, they're at 15 million of building that. How much? 15 million. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, we know, get yes, wise, we're looking 15 to 20. <laughs> it looks like talking. So, my opinion, it's going to come down to 
talking to the investors. I mean, know there's there's multiple groups that have shared, but they're not ready to come out yet to talk, and that's good. Um, so the Q testing, the zoning, among investors is where we're at. Our next steps on this. Yeah, and again, this work session is just a what it is. It's just a session where we are able to talk openly. You know, no decisions are made, but um, when we do get information back from DEQ. I will share that with George and we can have that information because that's kind of a bigger, bigger deal because that would be the, the first thing. And then we can obviously this is going to come to city council for um, to any decision with the board on our target. Same thing. Same with us. Yeah. yeah. So do we just kind of like need a consensus as far? No, this is just a discussion. Just a discussion. Yep. Okay. So, but it is, I mean, it's good. The whole point is to be able to hear the different like thoughts and concerns and ideas and what it looks like. That's the whole point of this. So, so yeah. There's just no public comment on this, unfortunately, because it's just a work session. But you're more than welcome to ask your question, Dr. I, I have a question also. Um, yes, Norma. But did we ever think about doing the mini homes, the tiny homes? It's the zoning. It's a huge issue with zoning. Okay. And go out there in the county and the regulations with that and outside city limits. And yeah, it's a lot different compared to an RV. Okay. All right. Does anybody else have any comment amongst the group? Just appreciate the time. I know it's midweek and everyone's busy. So thank everyone for coming on. All right. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you guys.